You know, I'm so glad uh, I came to the Tampa airport uh, for an 11 a.m. flight as opposed to a rush hour flight. So this is, uh, <laughs> you, you know, guys, it's fucking 11 o'clock in the It's 11.20 in the morning on a Wednesday uh, in, in, in Tampa, Florida. You know, the, the, this fucking horse shit. We're in a, think of what are we, a speed limit 65 mile an hour uh, zone here. Oh, get me out of this fucking hellhole. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, this shit is both directions, I guess 24 hours a day. Uh, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, I think, the, I think that's a fire engine ahead of me. It's either a fire engine or an ambulance with, with, with their fucking siren on. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I mean, welcome to, welcome to fucking hell. Welcome to hell. Fucking bullshit. Uh, good fucking God. You know, in, in a straight line, uh, if, if I were a goddamn seagull, uh, I, I could be sitting on that dock uh, by the banks of the Withlacoochee River in about 30 minutes. In, in, in a fucking straight line uh, from, from here to Dunellen, Florida. And, uh, and, and, and look at this fucking bullshit. And, but you wonder why I am a uh, Florida real estate investor. Right here is the reason you're all doomsday prophet chronicler of the collapse of global industrial civilization is a Florida real estate investor. As uh, these clueless fucking morons uh, just continue pouring in uh, to this state. I guess they're still saying 1,000 clueless fucking morons every day are, uh, are, are moving to the great state of Florida. Uh, every fucking day, 1,000 more clueless fucking morons uh, pouring in here. So uh, they they could be part of this fucking madness. Uh, Aaron just sent me this uh, article a few days ago about their uh, in uh, in Inverness, uh, well right next to Inverness, where they're getting ready to build seven thousand new homes. Seven thousand new homes. Uh, going in, which is pretty much uh, the number of homes in Inverness, Florida. With, with, with absolutely no uh, planning for it. Oh, fuck. All right. But the road is now opened again to uh, Inverness, Florida and Dunnellan, Florida. All right, we are back on the I-75 Raceway. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Let me look at this hell. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the, these lawyers, all of these personal injury lawyers with car. You should have seen the fucking wreck. I, I, I admit, I was the fault of it. Uh, thank God the uh, guy coming straight towards me at 65 miles an hour on US 41 but uh, had to uh, slam on his brakes and pull off the fucking road uh, before we had a head-on collision and that was so today was almost my last day on the planet uh, if, if I had not run that guy off the road uh, I would have uh, face-planted myself into an oncoming pickup truck 
at about 70 miles an hour and that got some uh, that, that got some horns honking and <laughs> and middle fingers flying which I deserved uh, you know I, I, I fully own it that uh, I almost killed myself my friend my dog uh, whoever was in the oncoming pickup truck uh, it was a it was a good one it was a good one my friend was very impressed by my by my driving <laughs> down here today oh get me out of this fucking hell hole you know everything everything is relative the the hell hole of Dunellen is relative to the hell hole of Inverness and the hellhole of Inverness is relative to the hellhole of Brooksville. The hellhole of Brooksville is relative to the hellhole of Tampa. Uh, I don't know what the fuck the, the hellhole of Tampa is relative to. I guess uh, Lagos, Nigeria would be the next uh, step down on the ladder of hellholes. Uh, we're, we're just completely fucked. Good fucking God. Anywho's. I think I'll do some real estate shopping in the hellhole of Brooksville, Florida. On my way home. I don't know what happened to our beautiful bright sunny day that we were. That we had. An hour ago, we seem to have lost our beautiful, bright, sunny day after, good God, that monsoon last night at midnight blowing through. I thought the damn trailer was going to was gonna wash down the hill last night at midnight. But somehow, another day has dawned in the... Uh, and what is it called? We can't call it the Anthropocene Epoch. It is technically the Anthropocene Age is the Anthropocene Event. The Anthro... The... The... The, aid, the event of humans hitting the planet. Uh, going full steam ahead here. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What in the hell am I doing here? What is today? We have made it to uh, Wednesday, March 6, 2024. Oh, it was... Is it the 30-year anniversary? It's either the 30, 31st, or 32nd anniversary of my wreck in Mexico. Good God, what is it about March 6th? Uh, it was 30, 31, or 32 years ago today where I had that uh, wreck in Mexico where uh, I should have been dead. There, there, There is no explanation of how I, that was the day, you know, I broke my back See, I broke my back, uh, 30 stitches in my head, still have the scar, and I think that was 15 stitches uh, in my arm. Good God, that was pretty much half my life ago, but uh, I have told that story several times of how I should have been dead. Uh, and I should have been dead again this morning. I, I'm going to be. I think next March 6th, I just won't. Uh, I just won't start the car. I will plan to stay home on March 6th of 2025. Uh, assuming there is a March 6th of 2025. Anyway, I think we all agree I should start paying attention to my driving. <laughs> on March 6th why the fuck I am still alive uh, there is no excuse for Hambun Little Tail 
to be uh, alive on this planet. I guess my uh, my work is not done yet. I I still have to sell some more Florida real estate to clueless fucking morons while I still can uh, before I face my face plant myself into the grill of an oncoming Mack truck. Get out there and enjoy uh, not face planting yourself into the oncoming grill of a Mack truck while you still can. Bye guys. End road work. All right. Speedway into the end times begins. Bye, guys.